Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend Mr. Vanderlind, he talks a lot. I don't know him. But my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. And healing. Passing you. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. I'm sure I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Okay! Good. There is no need to harm them. We can't talk if 
you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Are you all right back there? It's best we stay together now. Like you were saying before, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? Let's keep moving. I want you to see this place. A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. What's wrong, Mr. Morgan? So, what were you talking about before? But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. So why do you stay? I'd have been dead by 16. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. looking for English mace okay let's continue on so yes uh, where were we I'd have been dead by 16 if it wasn't for him he never gave up on me it ain't something that's easy to walk away from and he's got all my money huh it sounds like you have a lot to work out in your own mind. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Eagle Flies got cut up in there. Now he's in jail. Sadly, Eagle Flies was ready to fight. I'm sure Charles will find a way to help him, but I wanted you to know the situation. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me. So, conditions are that bad on the reservation? Yes this conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. saddlebag. Mix these together. They taste awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So you was just talking... ...talking about something? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Yeah, compromise ain't an easy thing to learn. I felt like that once, too. I was there 20 years ago for all the fighting, and I saw where it led. 
But my people come to me for answers. And I have none. I cannot even guide my own son. It is hard to tell someone who is being treated unfairly not to fight back. Dutch used to tell me that revenge was a fool's game. But now, feels like he's developed a compulsion for it. Any action without violence is difficult, especially when my son is involved. But when the intent becomes violence, that's when the cycle begins again. <laughs> yeah, I've been in that cycle my whole life. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right, I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who? Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Okay. Let's continue on. What reason would they have? Empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> 